Now with the foundations, those are those things where we like, we need to get them in place and we set them in stone and they don't change very often. When we talk about systems and scaling, it's really more about, you gotta think about building the plane while you're flying. Welcome to Built to Scale, where we have real conversations with entrepreneurs just like you about what it takes to build a thriving business without sacrificing your personal life. My name is Craig Severinsen, and I help people make more money working with better clients while also working less. And now I'm sharing it all with you. Let's dive in. What is up, everybody, and welcome to episode 26 of Built to Scale. I, of course, am Craig Severson, and this is another solo episode, and I'm really excited because today we're going to dive into the Built to Scale framework. Now, this framework is the core of what I do with all of my clients. Like This is the meat and potatoes of everything I do. This is the foundation for how you can grow and scale your business. You can attract more clients without sacrificing your personal life. And this is really timely information because it just so happens that in just a couple weeks, my new book, which is actually called Built to Scale, will be launching. On October 18th, we're releasing a book that dives deep into this process so that you can land more clients, you can make more money, and you can do it without sacrificing your personal life. I am very, very passionate about this because this framework is the key to really realizing that dream. You know, my whole purpose is to help people lead a really full life while having a thriving business. And this is the foundational piece that makes all of that possible. So before we dive into this, there is one conversation we have to have, and that is to make a distinction between growth and scale. Lots of times we use these words interchangeably, but really they're different. And if you understand the difference, then it makes it a lot easier to take your business from pre-six figures to your first 100K and from 100K to 200, 300, 500, even a million dollars. Like understanding the difference between these two, two concepts and being able to implement them at different phases in your business makes a huge difference. So let's just really quickly go over the two. So number one, growth. When you're in the growth phase, it's really a lot of one-on-one marketing, service delivery. Really, you're gaining resources as much as you're spending resources, right? On the other side is scale, and that is a lot of leveraged activities like one-to-many marketing, one-to-many sales. Um, And that's where your resources are growing faster than you're spending them. So the reason why it's important to make a distinction here is because you can be profitable in both of them, right? And the issue is that most people try to jump to scalability way too soon. And what happens is their offer is not proven out enough. Their message isn't proven out enough. And they spend a lot of money trying to implement leveraged activities that don't get them anywhere because they weren't ready for it. So you can be in growth mode and be a half a million dollar business, right? You can be $500,000 a year and still be doing a lot of one-to-one marketing, selling, and service delivery, especially if you're priced correctly. Because if you're charging a lot, how many clients do you really need to get to that $500,000 mark? So understanding that they're just different phases, that neither is good or bad, really important. And now that we know the difference, let's talk about uh, the built to scale framework. So it's split into two pieces. So the first piece are those foundations for growth, right? So how do we get you making money and bringing in clients consistently? And there's three foundational pieces you need. Number one is a hyper-focused niche. You need to be really, really tuned in to who your target audience is. Number two is a scalable offer. So we're talking about an offer that right now is profitable and is also something that you can sell and continue to sell as your business scales and grows, right? So it's a scalable offer. And then number three is expert positioning, right? So you need to be viewed as an expert in your industry and you need to position yourself as a thought leader so that clients come to you rather than you constantly chasing clients. If you're doing those three things, then your business is going to grow. 
That's why we call them the foundations of growth. If you don't have those right, your business will not grow. And it doesn't matter how much money you spend on ads or scaling tactics, you won't make any money. That's how important they are. Okay. So your niche, your offer, and your positioning in the marketplace. Okay. So once you've got the foundations of growth in place, then we can start building systems for scale. Now with the foundations, those are those things where we like, we need to get them in place and we set them in stone and they don't change very often. When we talk about systems and scaling, it's really more about, you got to think about building the plane while you're flying, right? So as you're scaling, you're building and refining these systems and you will continue to refine them as you grow, okay? So there's six systems for scaling. Number one is your visibility acceleration system. So how are you getting in front of new audiences, right? And making sure you're doing that all the time. Number two is your lead gen system. So this makes sure that you're getting leads in the door on a consistent basis. Number three is your sales conversion system. Okay, so you've got visibility, means your audience is growing. You've got lead gen, which means you've got prospects, people who could potentially purchase. And now we're gonna take that and we're gonna convert those into paying clients with your sales conversion system. And then that leads into number four, which is your client success system. Okay, so you see those systems are all connected. Visibility, leads, sales, service delivery. Imagine building systems around all four of those essential processes so that you don't even have to think about it. You're constantly getting more visible. You're constantly getting leads. You're constantly making sales. You're constantly having client success because you've put the systems in place to make that happen. That's what this is all about. Are you starting to catch that vision there? Because when you really look at what this does for your business and for your life, man, it's amazing. And then there's two more systems that are not as interconnected as those. The first, the, so number five, I guess it is, is your financial management system. So this is having a system for how do you make financial decisions? How do you manage money as it comes into your business? This will change your life because you will feel instant abundance when you start managing your money correctly. You start telling your money where to go and you start using your money to invest in those things that actually grow your business. It's, it's crazy, uh, life changing. Okay. And then number six, the very last one, it's your boss system, business operations. So these are the systems that are running in the background that you typically don't think about, but are really important. The example I like to put, and it's actually in the book. So you'll be able to see this in the, in the chapter about the boss system is my brother-in-law runs a pizza place. So you've got everyone on the line of the pizza place making pizza, but then you got one high school kid who's in the back shredding cheese, refilling the meats, making sure that everyone on the front line has the stuff they need to be successful and pump out pizzas. That's your boss system. It's the thing in the background that makes sure bills gets paid, that the resources are there. And when you have that dialed in, it makes your life so much easier. Okay, guys, that's what I got for you in this episode. And I know like we didn't even scratch the surface. So I just want to really encourage you. Remember, October 18th, the Built to Scale book is getting launched. And if you want to go deep into this and really, you know, figure out how do each of these systems work and how can you apply them in a methodical way to scale your business and grow your business and get more money, more clients without sacrificing your personal life, you got to check out the Built to Scale book and you can get it on Amazon starting October 18th. Okay, so until next time, take some fast focus and perfect action. I believe in you. I got your back. We'll talk soon. See ya. Thanks so much for listening. If this episode helped you, share with someone who needs to hear it as well. For more information on how you can work with me and great resources for your business, head over to builttoscalehq.com. Join us next time for Built to Scale. And until then, take some fast focused, imperfect action. I believe in you. I got your back. We'll talk soon.